Oh look, cupcakes! Are these for sale, Pinky? Wait, don't open! Wait, what? Oh! Um... Evil Cupcake Spider? Um... Okay, I'm not gonna doubt the surprisingly weak bosses. Well, I don't know if this thing's gonna be surprisingly weak, but... I don't know, we're gonna kill it. Oh, okay. It's, it's not that bad. Did I accidentally skip this boss? <laughs> I overcooked the cupcake! Oops. Oh, and there's the last massive diamond! Pinky, what the heck was that? I'm really sorry, girls. I just wanted to make an extra special cupcake for my extra special friends. But they turned out... not so great. That's okay, Pinky. It's a thought that counts, right? We could've died! Oh, come on. How many times are you gonna play the We Could've Died card this weekend, Rainbow? I need to make it up to you somehow. Do you want me to bake you something else? I'll get in trouble if I feed you for free, but I can at least give you a discount? That sounds nice. Okay, great! Just ask me I'll whip up something. Um, okay. It's bacon time. Ooh, I can buy apple pies here. Oh. Very high quality product. It's the blue kind's the best because it has 98 sugar purity. Restores one. Jesus, why didn't I go here for before? This would have been awesome. Oh well. Uh, okay, back to our scheduled programming and. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, no, not yet. Oh, it's... Okay, so apparently you can purchase as many special items as you can, but what's recommended is to... Okay, that's that's weird. Uh, let me reload this. Okay, so, yeah. Just a tip for all you guys who are going to play it. Make sure you remember who got the special items. You only get eight in this entire game. All right, Rainbow, this is your last item. Okay, great, here you go, Rainbow. This is a set of a kind of equipment just for you. A set of shock socks. Socks? Really? Hey, these aren't just any socks, they're shock socks. They'll charge your kicks with static electricity. Oh, wow, that's pretty rad. Thanks, Babs. Pleasure doing business with you. I already sold you everything I had in stock. I hope you're enjoying it. You got zero mess. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, that's not enough to buy anything. You're gonna need two to make a purchase. Oh. Okay. Well, that's worth patching. Let me see what that does, anyways. Uh, oh, it's a. Of course, it is an item. Huh. Okay. I, that could have been useful. No. <laughs> uh, I want to see it. <laughs> oh! I did not expect that. Alright, well, that's it. There's all the massive diamonds in this entire game, and that's all the equip special equipment that all the main uh, party members get. So, back to our regularly scheduled programming as we take on the final boss. Oh, and uh, let me just say this, because I didn't do an intro there. Hello and welcome everyone, DudeManage.3 here, slash DM20000, and welcome to the final part of Super Lesbian Horse RPG. I know it's the final part because this was recorded ahead of time, because I needed to grab all the the last massive diamond that I left out, and I wanted to find out what the last equipment was. So, there you go, and let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ready to call it quits yet, dude? Oh, ooh. Um. Hello, Javis. You didn't tell me we would be having guests. Y your Highness! Well, um, hello! I wasn't expecting you to arrive so soon. If you would just give me a moment, I can take care of these intruders. Then we can talk. No, please. I'd like to speak with your little friends. So your... horses... We don't have any, ans any answers to you. If you're Javis's boss, that means you're even more evil than he is. 
Twilight, I think she can figure out that we're horses. Talking horses, no less. How quaint. You... you liked them? Of course, they're so cute and small. This will be a fun universe to rule. Oh, yes, of course, such adorable subjects. <laughs> Just a couple of hours ago, you were calling us irresponsibly small. You must have misheard me, oh, dear orange horse. I believe I described you as responsibly small. Well, I'm sorry to say, Miss... Um... Oh, where are my manners? My name is Queen Farina. Well, Miss Farina, I'm afraid we aren't going to let you take over our world so easily. Oh, these horses are such jokesters, Javis. How lovely. We really have a lot of fun here. Fun is one word for it. What did you say? N -n Nothing, Your Highness. Listen, lady, we just kicked your buddy's butt, so unless you want the same thing to happen to you, I suggest you hop right back to that glowy box thing and go home. What Rainbow said? We're not afraid of you. Okay, this isn't funny anymore. Now it's just sad. You poor little things are so delusional. I'm probably the most powerful being you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. My family has conquered dozens of universes, reshaping them into beautiful kingdoms. With Javis's help, I've been searching for a kingdom of my own for years. Now, at long last, I've found one. Like it or not, your universe is my, my property. And there's nothing you adorable little scams can do to stop me. But I suppose if you truly wish to fight me, then I'll be happy to oblige. Alright, final boss fight! And we haven't been healed. Oh shit. That's not good. Um... Okay, it probably wasn't a good idea to spend up all my aethers. Uh, I need to... Uh, rarity shield, we're gonna need it. Oh, you're guarding, great, good job. Good. Yeah, I summoned the power of rarity! First aid on Applejack. Probably should make Twilight kiss Pinky. Uh, oh, that sounds like a really weird. Uh, ah! Ah! Do you see what this game's done to me? Uh, attacks with reality itself? Oh, oh no! Reality! Uh, oh, sh no, 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 uh, first aid, rainbow. Uh, okay, Applejack's out of stuff, so... Now quit guarding! Uh, uh, try Mega Sports. Let's burn her. I swear she looks like a Skullgirls character. Kind of looks like the same design as one, too. Oh no, not reality! Burn, bitch! Okay, so she's guarding and then she attacks with reality. Um, okay. Oh, there goes the shield. Okay, now we're down without defense. Looks like we gotta rely on raw skill. Make out with each other, because we're gonna need it. You 
can't do anything. Like, everyone's really out of MP. Come on, die! I'll go, she's going to attack. Okay, attack of reality. Oh, it's not as bad. Okay. Okay, we won! Uh, wait. Wait, did we win? Your Highness! I can't believe those wretched ponies managed to defeat you. You must have really gone easy on them. Your Highness? Marina? Hello? Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, in second form? Farina, what are you doing? You're going to destroy the entire outpost! I can defeat them. I need only need more power. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. <laughs> we can just find another universe to conquer! Your Highness, please stop before you kill us! You say that every time, Javis, and every time we have to flee back to my family and tell them that I still don't have the k a kingdom of my own. Poor little Verena, the youngest daughter of the family. They pity me in front of my face, then laugh and gossip about there must be something wrong with me behind my, my back. But no, it's not me. I finally figured it out. It's you, Javis. You've been holding me back all these years. So this time, I'm taking matters to my own hands. Are you two almost done talking about your problems? Come on, y'all. We better just skedaddle before this lady blows up the entire mountain or something. Okay, run. Uh, okay, well, I gotta escape. Run away, run away. Boldly flee and run away. She's gonna blow up the entire mountain. Uh, uh, where's the door? Is that the door? Well, okay, run away. Okay, we're out of the mountain. Goodness gracious! You're not getting away! As if we're afraid of you! Buttershy, what are you doing? We gotta get out of here! No! What? I said no. Babe, I'm really glad you're feeling more confident now, but sometimes you have to know when to call it quits. There's no way we can handle this on our own. We have to find help. No, I'm tired of being a coward. I'm tired of always running away from every problem. If we don't take Farina out now, we lose. We don't have time to get help. Farina, Fluttershy, I don't know if you've noticed, but Farina got pretty big. I know we've fought plenty of monsters before, but this is way out of our league. You know what, Rainbow? I've learned something about myself today. Can this wait? We'll be with you in a moment, Farina. I realized that for my entire life, I've been scared about just about everything. I didn't even think about twice about it. I just accepted being scared. But I don't actually have a reason to be scared. On this whole adventure, there hasn't been anything that was too impossible for me to handle. It turns out I'm kind of great. I just never realized it. And when there's something too scary for me to handle, I'm on my own. My friends are there to help me. Especially you, Rainbow. Haven't you been listening to Twilight all this time? Not really. Rainbow, we've got a secret weapon that Verena doesn't have. Please tell me she isn't about to say, IT'S THE POWER OF LOVE! Uh-oh. Are we... Are we actually going to defeat her with the power of love? Uh... I... What's happening? Is she evolving? Uh, they're both evolving, apparently. Um... Uh... Okay, Hyperferina appears! Alright, Super Fluttershy and Super Rainbow Dash. Let's do this. Love Cannon?
Love Cannon! What happens if I just attack her? Love Cannon! Okay, it does some damage. Alright. Uh... Come on! <laughs> if we're using the power of love, we might as well use it! Uh... Alright, come on, Love Bird, we can do this! Well, I don't know about we, but uh, you you two can handle it. Stop guarding! Treat your pleading like a man! Full damage, come on. Ow, reality, it hurts. Come on, we're close. The only opportunity we get! No! I don't care! We can do this! Come on! Yeah! was incredible! How the heck do y'all do that? Mm. You know, I'd like to say something. That's a first. I'm sorry for all the dungeon nonsense this weekend. I don't even know what I was thinking. Seeing you two work together like that, I realized that no number of friendship dungeons could force anyone to build the kind of bond you two have. It's okay, Twilight. Everyone makes mistakes. But you gotta admit, that's an awfully weird mistake to make. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, hello. Howdy, Queenie. Don't bother with the pleasantries, it's patronizing. I can tell my leadership skills aren't appreciated. I'm not going to bother conquering this world. I hope your weird little ponies are happy. We are. Oh, hey, Javis is still alive, too. Your Highness, there you are. Thank goodness. Let's start over, okay? Let's just forget all this... All of this happened and tried the next universe on the list. 
Maybe we'll find a world with regular horses, hmm? Wouldn't that be nice? I know how much you liked these ones before you realized they were evil. Your Highness, could you please give me back my staff? I need that to do magic. Goodbye, Tavis. <laughs> Looks like she dumped you, dude. How am I supposed to get home now? I guess you'll just have to stay here with us ponies. Really? After all the trouble I put you tiny horses through, you would take me in? Yes. Congratulations, Javis! You're on royal arrest! You've just earned a nice, cozy jail cell of your very own. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that all weekend. Why, you? Uh, uh, uh. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the royal court of royal law. I suspise you minuscule abomination with every fiber of my being! You really crinkle my tape, you know that? Wait, what? It's an expression, you clod! That's enough out of you. Let's go. <laughs> I reckon I should get back to Rarity. She's worried about me enough today. I'll have to think of something nice to do for her to make up for all the stress. Yeah, we're, we're. Bye, Applejack. Have fun with Rarity. Later, AJ. We should probably be heading home, too. Yeah, some rest sounds pretty good right now. Sorry, we never got to go on that date this weekend. It's okay, Rainbow. I still had a nice time. It's not like we have normal jobs to worry about during the week anyway. We can just go out tomorrow. Oh, right. So we head into my place or yours? Mine sounds good. I need to check on Angel. Sure, let's go. Oh, I have to walk. Do they say anything? Nope, they don't. Wait, is this like the epilogue or something? Oh, oh, I mean, I'm just curious. It's good to see you two together again. It's good to be together, Fluttershy. Thanks again for saving Applejack. Don't sweat, Rarity. We would have done it for anyone. Really? Probably not. Now, Applejack, in the future, don't run off on some sort of adventure without me, okay, dear? Maybe for a sequel. I feel much better about you risking your life when I'm there to personally ensure you stay out of harm's way. Of course, Rare. To be honest, I wish you'd come with us for the whole thing. You missed an awful lot. Well, there's always next time. A sequel, please! Well, we'll leave you two alone now. Okay, that they just say the same thing no matter what pony you talk to. Oh, no, no! Why? How did this happen again? And then they fucked on that chair. Alright. Uh, how about the CMC? I'm curious. Oh, you're still here? Why wouldn't we be? We kind of already saved the world. So that means we don't really need adventuring gear anymore. Are you sure? You never know when this stuff might come in handy. We probably won't be going to any other world saving adventures for at least a month or two. Sorry, girls. Foreshadowing, maybe? <laughs> so I guess this business isn't really sustainable. Darn! I really thought we had a good plan this time. Maybe you can try something else. Like what? Oh, I know! What if we sold explosives here? That's a great idea, sweetie Belle! High explosives are all the rage these days! Maybe you should try something, um, safer and more age appropriate? Something like coloring or jump rope. Or spelunking! It's not quite what I had in mind. Well, I'm sure they'll figure out something eventually. Come on, Photoshop, we got places to be. Yeah, I'm aware. Alright, how about Twilight's place? Oh, Twilight and Pinky. Oh, hey, Spike. Mount Gay. Oh my god! Hi. Thank you, Spike. You are most beneficial to the story. Hey, where'd Tavis go? I thought he was with you. I teleported him to Horsington along with a letter to Princess explaining what happened this weekend. He Celestia's and Luna's problem now. That's the spirit. That video guy was something when he saw me and he said, How many of you little things are there in this unbearable world? 
And he kept ranting about how small I was compared to him and said a lot of bad words that I don't exactly want to repeat. Speaking of things that we weren't clear on, Pinky, I thought you were working today. Oh, actually, I asked the case if I could have my old position back at the inn. Oh, sorry. I didn't... The manager position just wasn't for me. I didn't have any free time left to spend with my best friends and my girlfriend. Besides, I don't really need the money anyway. I mean, there weren't any stories in town until today. That one's run by... Oh, wait. Oh, stores. <laughs> I thought that said stories. And that one's run by little kids. What's up with that anyway? It's a long story. So now everything's back to normal. Yep, it looks like everything worked out for us. Well, that's good. Rainbow and I should probably be going, though. Have a nice evening. Yeah, yeah, they, they will. There's a there's a bed up there, I'm sure. Okay, let me check the B and B and D. Oh, it's closed, okay. Also, uh, let's get a reminder of this. Say, Rainbow, I always wondered, why is your sofa facing the wall? I'm making a statement or something. Right, brilliant. Right back in the Fluttershy's cottage. Oh, hey, Angel. Hi, Angel, dear. Did you have a nice deep weekend? Angel? Have you been standing here with this note for two whole days? Angel, stop ignoring me. I guess he's just in a stubborn mood. <laughs> well, Rainbow, are you ready to end this adventure? Wait, no, hold on. Now let's run around a bit more. Yeah, let me. I'm just gonna do this. Yep, we're ready to end this adventure. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. There's nothing else for me to do. See, I told you they would sleep together. Today was a good day. Yeah. Really weird, but overall good. I'm probably going to be debating whether or not any of that stuff with Javis happened for re for years, though. He was really something, in a bad way. Yeah, what a dork. I'm glad we didn't let a creep like him take over the world. Although, I do have to admit, seeing you do that magic thing and kick Verena's butt was pretty impressive. You should be proud of yourself. That was hardcore. Thanks, Tashi. I actually am pretty proud of myself for once. So what do you want to do tomorrow? I still owe you a date. I don't know. You got anything in mind? Well, we could take a trip to Horsington and see the sights. We haven't been there since Twilight's brother's wedding. We could go for a fly around town, and you could do some flips. You barely got any chances to fly this weekend. I do like flips a lot. But you know, after saving the universe, I think maybe we've earned a day off. How about we just sleep in and hang out around here tomorrow? We don't need to do anything fancy to have fun. You know what? You're right. I'm sure whatever we do tomorrow, it'll be nice. You know why? I think I know why. I love you, Rainbow. I love you too. Now let's get some sleep. Okay, good night, Dashie. Good night, babe. And that's Super Lesbian Horse RPG! <laughs>